above because it's in your muscle memory. You can't blame yourself there, yeah, only a few times. Yes, because it's in your muscle memory that you done that. That you had to drive him forward with your seat and with your leg and this and that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now he does it on nothing. He does it on a thought. If you place your head the right place and you think about the trot, he's gone already. You put it exactly in the right place, eh? And you have got enough horse in front of you. Otherwise he won't be because then he's still behind. Very, very, how can I say it? Creative and agile and quick with your hair. Where you put it. Nobody sees that, right? That you do it the basis before the drummer and that you're quick in actually making little marks wherever you've been, wherever you are. Very good, very good. And it goes with the top of your head. That's where you measure, measure it. So you gotta look up for that. You cannot look down. Reason is because you needed to look up already in the first step in life if you use your eyes for balance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you look up, you happen to do this. Look. Which is that you bring the weight of your head, which is one eighth of your body weight, which is none of my business how much that is. <laughs> but I can tell you in my in my case it's substantial. But my head weighs. Like this, like me. Well, then it is towards that head. And you didn't use that head. Now, again, you never done that yet in your life, and that's okay. You gotta get used to it, right? That you systematically every stride use it. Like you used to use your leg, but get that leg a bit. Also, we think that because that's way littler than you think it has. Been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Boy, what? Right? Now let him stretch good 15, 15 into it. And you take the last little bit of tension out of his body wherever you feel them. Wherever they occur, the same thing over stretch. Yeah, nice, nice. How's that feel for on the bit? Good. And then he really pitches into it. And that whole stay apparatus, you feel straight back in your hand. You can feel the heel of that horse in your hand. Ah, super, super. And if you make a change in that heel, but like a little bit more fire, you can feel that instantly back in your hands. Yeah, very good. Very good to it. The change ring. to make sure that in your hand feel that you can address any place in that stay apparatus. Yeah, like that. Yeah, big size, right? Ah, good boy. Yeah, very start breathing. Are you ready? You take that to a truck. Hi, Bezel. Quick. Stay quick with your hand. Still. Yes, nice. 
Nice. Make sure you give it a quick with your head. Not that the bass it comes after the drummer. Have a little bit of spirit. Way to go here. Oh, yeah, make sure your head is before the hind leg with your little toddler move. And change swing. Before the hind leg. Yep, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And up, two, three, four, and stretch. Very nice. Ella. And yeah, we were like kind of naive there a bit how you duckle forward. So make sure that you're quick like a ninja with that head. Yes, and soft like Tinkerbell. And create a bit of spark in that hind leg that he stretches good into that bit. Come on, hip hop. Yes, a nice firm stretch. Come, stronger stretch. Come up, yes. Yes, so more fire out of that heel. And a circle. Don't let him set you away on the same spot. Because he's going to try. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Come on. Hey, big circle. And now I'm going to challenge him. Because he stole another inch behind you on that same spot. Now, at that same spot, be so agile that you get more horse in front of you. Instead of less. Yeah. Oh, girl, you're my hero. You go straight. <laughs> But look at that, very good done for you, 100%. And you're doing that in transition to the wall. Horse in front of you. Yeah, 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 come on, all the way. Yes. Nice. Yeah, come close your legs, hold them with you. Yeah, give him something bold to stretch into. Hold bold. Because he stretches bold. Yeah, just keep him with you. You can hold bold now. Yes, as long as you don't exceed the, the amount of poundage that comes from behind. Hold bold. That's called connection. You can hold a lot. And you go, man, that's a handful. Yeah, but it is all yours. Because go now once to a half an ounce. Right now. Half an ounce. Yeah. You can make it light and heavy whenever you want. That's a luxury. Now go back to the two on the fountain. I don't know what I like. Yes. That's connection. In a long way, in the fat. Got you learning fast. In harmony with that hind leg in the in the rhythm wise. And also on exactly scientifically the right place for that moment. Now that moment happens to change by the tenth of a second on a horse. So you gotta be quick. You got a score, yes. That is super, super, super. So always be that basic slightly before the drum. What's your favorite group? Ah, uh, I'm pretty keen on Michael Jackson. Ah, there you go. You got a day. Now, you go left lead counter on the circle, stay back there, pick the right moments, let even that moment be that you have enough horse in front of you, and that you, with your head, go all constantly subtle moonwalk like Michael Jackson towards that thing. for a moment stay in the house in the walk sorry stay in the walk take your reins in your right hand stay on the circle and pat him once really deep that close to his loin pat him and go back no 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 your mom that's slapping oh. that's <laughs> <laughs> stroke him that just yes now go with your head places if he doesn't he's already a, a little bit skeptic you know what i'm saying Scout that already out that you say, I come in peace, even if I put my head way back. Yes, and I'll pick him up again.
so quick in that walk that you can almost walk on the spot. So quick that you have to almost walk on the spot. So yes, and that much contact. And then you give the aid for the counter, you think it. Nice. Um, shame that he could set you away and that you were that innocent. Yes, naive about the fact that he was going to set you away. You let him say, take charge of your hair. You surrender it. You get it here. You use it. And you know why? Because you would come and stay quick with that. And that's even why you did it. You say, don't mess with my hair. Come, come, get Up and be quick with your hair. Yes. Now, up still, quick again. Because you got to earn this. Now, next long side, come quick, get back there, quick. Like so supple and head out. Go straight. And easy. Get out of there. Go quick with your head. On the same spot, come, come, come. Because he's not going to like that. On the same spot where you patted him before. Come. Smart. <coughs> he calls himself a timeout. Now, before you... Here is what I would love to have. A counter from the hall. That would be that my thing. So now you go counter from the hall. I don't think you can do that. But surprise me. You would make my day. But just make sure that your head is there where you want to be. The horse in front of you. The horse in front of you. Yes, come on. You were close. But he tipped you forward. He did, no. It's not about the counter now anymore. It's about where you are. So be that like a ninja, like like that, like a kid that you can lay over backwards, do the limbo. Let him feel like you are gonna be back there, like a rodeo ride. Yes, but you can't mess with him because he tapped you full. And at that moment, he's behind your leg. Yes, that's a girl. Stay back there and be like, like supple like a cat that you can fall backwards at the moment that he sets you away while you kick him then because you said stay in front of me. But your head and your hands have to go two different directions. Really fast. And then your legs has to kick him in the same moment if he's not forward. But he learns to get in front of you. No mercy. He's gonna go. Ah. Ah. Boy, a circle. Let him walk so quick that he can walk on the spot almost first. Yes, yes. Ah, that's a girl. Now counter. And right away extend. Come, counter. Kick him. Yes, and counter. Don't let him set you away. Kick him a few times. Like, okay, let me go for a moment to a half. Stay the same as what you are. Okay? Oh, God. How can you kick with that? That's not possible. Come. Oh, you miss him. They're totally stuck. Do you? Do you have to? Look, did I tell you about the sumo wrestler and Bruce Lee? No. No? No. Okay, did you know Bruce Lee? Yes. How was he with, 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 uh, with fighting? He was like, I mean, he was uh, like that, dancing already. And yes. That. What's the difference between a sumo wrestler and Bruce, Bruce Lee? Is that Bruce, the sumo wrestler, is all about power, weight, <laughs> and gobble it up. Yes, and, and just like uh, contact and strong. Yes. Yeah. Bruce Lee is all about technique. Now, who do you want to be? Yeah, then don't ride him like a sumo wrestler. You cannot come like oh, with that much left. Because where you are strong, Never be quick. It's not possible. Did I get a good lesson about the four guys? Oh, God, you have a lot to learn. Man, the case this lad, how do you hit? Right? Hold your way. Hold your way. He doesn't jump over the fence. Yes? You come out of your head because you kick out of your knees. Yes. You gotta go loose with your thigh. Oh, shake him. It's like you, yeah. You gotta be able to do nothing. That's not problem. Now when you do this, he should jump away. Because what I do myself is when he doesn't do nothing, I go. But let me relax again. What the hell happened? You know what I mean? Because usually, before you kick, yes, you 
dense this all up. It's the same as I'm saying to you, I'm gonna hit you. And you see me coming from 10 meters away. Yeah. You know I'm gonna hit you. Yeah. Just gonna step sideways and hit me or hit me or just yeah. run away, whatever. You know I'm gonna hit you. So he sees you coming a mile ahead and you come with your spur. Because first this comes, he goes, okay guys, hold on tight. <gasps> okay, she's gone. And that's how he thinks. Yeah. Right? Because oh. he sees you coming. Yeah. If you come with nothing, nothing, you drop it like it's hot. Yeah? <coughs> like just no, that's tight. That's not seen anything. You have to get rid of that. Loose. Yes. If you want to put anything on, put your cap on. Not your tie, not your seat, don't clamp. Because that stops anyway. The harder you clamp, the more it stops. Does that make sense? Totally. Yes. So don't do it. If you want to come, come with your calf later, you can hold it, but this stays relaxed still, that's just loose, yes. So you put your calf on, but now if I take it off, he does not know what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So take it off, next time he will. Yes, yeah, but you have to get this. So next time I, yes, and he gets already like, oh shit. She takes that leg off. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs>